Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim and welcome back, uh, dear friends. Today we will solve problem 3.6. The statement of problem is that in part A, determine the torque that can that can be applied to a solid shaft of 20 mm diameter without exceeding allowable shear stress of 80 MPa. So for part first or for part A, the given data is that, let me write, given data is that the solid shaft of 20 mm diameter. So diameter of solid shaft is equal to 20 mm which is equal to 0 0.020 meter and the allowable sharing stress of 80 megapascal so maximum allowable sharing stress is equal to 80 megapascal and that is equal to 80 into 10 to the power 6 pascal and what we have to find we have to find the torque to determine the torque so we have to find the torque in second part that is given that given data is solve part a assuming the solid shaft has been replaced by a hollow shaft of the same cross sectional area so area of solid shaft is equal to area of hollow shaft we have replaced now the solid shaft with hollow shaft with the same area but with the condition that with inner diameter equal to half of its outer diameter. So let uh, inner diameter is equal to D1. For example, this is an outer diameter. This is equal to D2. So let this is D2 and this is D1. This one is D1. Inner diameter is D1. So it is given that outer diameter D2 is equal to, uh, sorry, inner diameter D1 is equal to half of outer diameter, that is D2. Rest uh, maximum shear stress is same as 80 megapascal, so 80 to 10 to the power 6 pascal, and we have to find the torque here also so let's solve first the part a which is uh, to find torque as we know that torque is equal to tau max into j divided by c clear so we do not have we have tau max we have c but we do not have j clear so first we will find j so j is equal to pi by 2 d4 c4 sorry where c is the radius and this c can be obtained if we divide diameter of solid by 2 so pi by 4 pi by 2 into d c is equal to d by 2 whole power 4 so when you solve this j will be equal to 15.70 into 10 to the power minus 6 10 to the power minus uh, sorry minus 9 that is minus 9 m4 so we have to put the value over here so ta is equal to ta max is equal to 80 mega pascal so 18 to 10 is to power 6 multiply by j which is 15.70 into 10 is to power minus 9 divided by c and c is d by 2 which is equal to 0 0.010 so again if you solve this so the value of ta comes out to be 125.664 newton into meter 
So this is the value of torque that can be applied to this solid shock. So this is the answer of part A. Now we will solve the second portion of our problem that is to find the torque for a hollow shock that is of the same area as solid shock with inner diameter is equal to half of outer diameter. So let's start with its solution. So as given as area of solid shock is equal to area of hollow shock clear and area of solid shock is equal to pi into c square where c is the radius of solid shock clear and that is equal to pi pi into c2 square minus c1 square also it is given that c1 is equal to half of c2 so if we put c2 whole square minus instant of c1 we put half of c2 here it is diameter so convert it into uh, so, uh, radius so it would be equal to half of c2 whole square here so you will have that c1 will be equal to 0 0.00575 Five seven five meter. Clear. All this term will be in to in C two. Clear. And this C square is and this C C is zero point zero one zero. So when you put it, you will calculate the c1 this, this will give you the c1 value when you will calculate c2 and you will put here again in this condition that c2 is equal to 2 times of c1 clear or we have seen that c1 is equal to half of c2 clear so when you get the c2 from this so you will put in this and you will get this again c2 comes out to be if you solve this equation this equation there this equation so from this c2 will be 0 0.0015 meter and you will put in this equation so c1 will be this one now we have c1 and c2 as well so we can also calculate polar moment of inertia for hollow shock that is equal to pi by 2 into c2 square c24 sorry not square c24 minus c14 so put the value pi by 2 c2 is 0 0.00 one five to power four minus zero point double zero five seven five to power four. Clear. So if you calculate that this value of C comes out to be this value of J comes out to be 26.180 into 10 to the power minus 9 meter 4. Again, you, you, you know that this torque is equal to tau max j into divided by c. In this case, it is c2 because c2 is the outer radius here so when you put the value 
tom x is equal to 18 to 10 to the power 6 similarly j is equal to 20 26.180 into 10 to the power minus 9 divided by c2 is 0 0.00 0. Point, no, no, sorry c2 is 0 0.01154 0 0.1154 then I have written as 0. Point, so finally this is 0 0.015 clear 115 so when you solve this the value of torque comes out to be 181.4 newton into newton so this is the torque that is applied to a hollow solid shaft of the same area as that was a solid shaft so this was all about problem 3.6 so again if you have any question you can ask in comment section thank you for watching the video